Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a linked double crochet stitch. And this is the pattern that you see here in front of you. It is uh, the same on both sides. This is the front and then the back as well. Now the linked double crochet is uh, almost a double crochet stitch. So it has the height of a double crochet stitch but it's linked or connected to the stitch next to it so normally when you work a double crochet stitch uh, swatch you might have these gaps in between your stitches the linked double crochet stitch will eliminate that gap it's also quite pretty to look at so this is a stitch we're going to learn how to do today. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You can find links for both of these items as well as a link to the written and photo tutorial that is free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So all that can be found in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as this one. Our linked double crochet stitch today is worked in rows. So the first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot and make a foundation chain. And your foundation chain can be any multiple of stitches plus three. So today I'm going to chain a total of 23 stitches. There's 15, 20, and then 23. Now when you begin your linked double crochet, when you start off with your first stitch into your foundation chain, it's going to be worked a little bit differently than the rest of the stitches in the row. So the first thing you're going to do is insert your hook into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, into that second chain, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. You're then going to insert your hook into the next chain, into the third chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll then have three loops on your hook. You're going to complete the stitch like you would a normal double crochet stitch. So yarn over and draw through two and yarn over and draw through two more. That is your first stitch. Now the next stitch in the foundation chain, you when you take a look at the stitch you just worked, you will see this horizontal bar going across the post of your stitch. I'll take out my hook and point to it there. So this horizontal bar. You're going to begin the next stitch by inserting your hook under that horizontal bar yarning over, draw up a loop, two loops on your hook, then down into your foundation chain into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll then have three loops on your hook, complete the stitch as you would a normal double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. That is your second stitch worked in your foundation chain. I'm going to show you one more in this first row. So taking a look at your stitch, you will see this horizontal bar right here going right across your stitch. You're going to bring your hook in front, insert your hook under that horizontal bar, yarn over and draw up a loop. Now into the next chain on your foundation chain, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over and pull through two. You are going to repeat that process all the way across your foundation chain. When you come to the last stitch, meet me back here and I will show you how to begin row two. I am now just working my final stitch in my foundation chain, the end of row one. And if you take a look back at your row, you're going to see this row of stitches that are about as tall as a double crochet, but you'll see that they are all connected together, eliminating those gaps in between. You're now going to get ready to begin row two, so you're going to start by chaining three and turning your work. Now, very much like the way we started in our foundation chain, you're going to work the first stitch, which is worked a little bit differently than the rest. The first stitch, you're going to begin by inserting your hook into the second chain from your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Now, into the base of that chain, so into the stitch directly below that first stitch of your turning chain three, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. That is your first stitch made. You're now going to continue just as you did down below. Find that horizontal bar, insert your hook, draw up a loop. Now into the next stitch on the row below, Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Continue that all the way across till you come to the end, chain three, turn your work, and start again. And that's all there is to working this linked double crochet stitch. So thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to come back again next week and uh, for our next stitch, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.